The year is 50 BC. Gaul is entirely occupied by the Romans. Entirely? Not quite. One small village of indomitable Gauls still holds out against the invaders. And since it's a glorious day, let's go and pay them a visit. Here's chief vital statistics, minus his usual bearers. Cacophonix the Bard is busy composing the kind of ballad his mother once softly sang to him. And Getafix the Druid is feeding his doves. It's a picture-perfect day. The cloudless sky shows no sign of the terrible events brewing on the horizon. The trials and tribulations that yet again await our friends, Asterix and Obelix, the two most valiant warriors in the village. And where are our heroes exactly? Greetings, economic crisis. Obelix and I need to get a faraway Thule, and we need your boat. Impossible, Gaul. My boat cannot move from here. Why? Don't you have a crew? Obelix and I can... No, I've lost my boat license. Aquarium's legionaries confiscated it, supposedly because I docked up on their beach, privatising the beaches. It's a sad state of affairs, I tell you. I see. Don't worry, economic crisis. We'll go and get your license back from the aquarium camp. We'll be really polite about it too, won't we, Asterix? Really? You can do that. If you succeed, I'll repay you with ten. Or eight. Make it four free trips. Deal, economic crisis. Oh, wait for us here. We won't be long. Still in the water? Thank <laughs> you. 
faster, Obelix. I like to take my time. So, <laughs> Asterix is allowed a drop of magic potion. Do you think we'll come across any Romans, Obelix? Oh, yes. It's Roman season in the forest this time of year.
This year's Romans are a tough bunch.
I'm too tired for Over to you, Obelix! Over to you, Obelix!
Over to you, Asterix! Ooh. 